Bugs are gross, most plants are gross, and some animals are gross. Allie Wright, many things are gross, but why? Did you know that the universe is so vast that light from the farthest reaches hasn't even reached us yet? Imagine a realm so colossal, teeming with an innumerable number of galaxies, each one a cradle of countless stars. Picture the potential of every single one of those stars, possibly orbited by planets. Planets that may hold the key to life as we know it or as we don't. The universe, with its endless mysteries and immense possibilities, begs the question. In this infinity, could we possibly be alone? Imagine for a moment, you're an astronaut exploring a distant galaxy. As you journey across the celestial expanse, you stumble upon various alien life forms that challenge your understanding of life itself. You encounter a life form that defies conventional physics. A gaseous entity, floating freely in the air. It communicates not through sound, but through shifts in color and temperature. You marvel at its radiant beauty and the complexity of its language, all conveyed through simple yet profound changes in its form. Next, you come across a life form unlike anything you've seen on Earth. It's silicon-based, not carbon-based like us. It's an alien that's tough, resilient, and thrives in extreme temperatures. This creature's existence broadens your perspective on the building blocks of life. Further into your journey, you meet a collective consciousness with no physical form at all. It's an alien civilization that exists solely as interconnected thoughts and memories. You wonder at the profound unity of such a society, where each entity's knowledge and experiences become part of a shared understanding. Each encounter leaves you more astounded than the last, stretching your imagination and challenging your perceptions of what life can be. It's a humbling journey filled with awe-inspiring revelations and mind-boggling possibilities. Our astronaut returns home, mind reeling from the diversity of life encountered. When we think of aliens, we often imagine them in our own image. We picture beings with two eyes, a head, limbs, essentially a human form. But this is a human-centric perspective, isn't it? It's like assuming that every planet out there must have blue skies and white clouds just because Earth does. Our understanding of life is based on the only example we have, life on Earth. But who's to say that's the only way life can exist? In a universe filled with an unimaginable number of galaxies, each packed with countless stars and planets. The possibilities for life are infinite. There could be creatures that thrive in extreme temperatures, or organisms that live off radiation. There might be life forms that exist in multiple dimensions, or entities that are more energy than matter. Our hypothetical story has shown us that alien life could be vastly different from anything we can comprehend. So what do you think? In a universe as vast and diverse as ours, what could aliens really look like?